Hi everyone, my name is Gail Shirey and I'm going to be working with you for this course. Um, it is called Freshman English 2, otherwise known very commonly as English 103. In this particular course, the focus will be on three major writing assignments, otherwise known as essays. We're going to start with a narrative essay, then we'll do a rhetorical analysis essay, and we will end with an informative research essay. Now, of course, this is a an English composition course, so that means there's lots of writing every week, Every almost every assignment will have writing requirements with it. However, in this particular course, there are three major writings, and you're going to want to take a look at the syllabus to see the weights of essays. Um, they are heavily weighted uh, compared to other assignments in, in participation. I want to take a minute to really talk about our Moodle page. I know Moodle is a bit of a funny name, but it is our learning management system or our LMS. And this is where you're going to find everything for our course. The required textbook is actually embedded within the course. So there are no required items that you have to buy for this course. You should be able to complete everything within the Moodle page. You will find because of this, there'll be lots and lots of resources. All the readings or information that you're going to need will be contained within this course page. So if you've never used Moodle before, I wanted to just talk about the structure really quickly. In Moodle, you're gonna see, um, in fact, let me quick switch. I'm going to switch to, oh, I am in student view. The announcement one will be always be at the top. And this is uh, me sending you announcements. I send an announcement every Sunday. They go out Sunday morning, 6 a.m. And it should come right here in this announcement spot, but it will also be sent to your email. The first uh, module, if you will, is called Start Here Course Orientation. And in this one, you're gonna see the welcome video message. That's what you're watching right now. So you must've clicked into it. I also want you to look at a PowerPoint. And when you do this, you just, in order to open these things, you simply click on it and then it will download to your particular computer. And then in this case, it, I simply tell you, download and review the PowerPoint. I want you to be aware of what's needed to be a successful online course learner. And then the syllabus, make sure you review that. There's a lot of important information there. And then our weekly schedule and outline, it gives you kind of an overview of what we're gonna be covering each week. There are two tutorials if you want to watch them. There's some on Moodle. If you don't know Moodle, there are a bunch of video tutorials. If you don't wanna watch them all, you can mark as done. Uh, these boxes on the right-hand side tell you what you need to do. So this one, I can simply mark as done. Even if I haven't looked at it, it's going to allow me to do that. But whenever it says required or if it says activity, these are items that are graded and you have to do something with them. So in this case, there are two lessons you're gonna to need to start with. Again, to see this lesson, you just click into it. It will open in a new window, new page. And in this case, you're gonna read pages. You're going to answer questions and then keep moving until you are all the way done. In this particular one, and I'm gonna come back to this particular module to show you. Over on the right-hand side, because I've already done them, it says, okay, I've done. But the requirements where I had to view it, I had to go through the activity to the end, and I had to receive a grade. When all of those things have been done with this, then you'll see done, done, done in those tabs. So within each required activity for grading, you'll see on the right-hand side what the requirement is that you're going to have to do before it'll clear it on your progress bar. Now, I do want to point out really quickly that uh, you can manipulate when I'm on course, and I'm just gonna quick open this right now. When I'm on course, it will show all of the mod modules all the way down. So because I've done these, module one is open to me, but on yours, module one will not be open until you have completed those two items in the start here section. So make sure you get those done as quickly as possible. All the modules are set up the same. You'll have the overview, objectives, 
And then the task list. Pay attention to the task list. These are things of what I want you to read. Now, again, within Moodle, anything that is green is a hot link. So you can see, I want you to read chapter two, writing process, these pages. You simply click into that and the book will open up. And then of course, all you have to do is scroll, find those pages, and then read those pages. You can also manipulate by going up and down within the modules or on the side. If you just want to jump straight to a particular module, you can do that. So I just jumped right here to module one where we were. And not only in task list, this tells you what you have to do to be able to complete this module. In this particular case, you have to read within the textbook. You have to read and review all the items and resources and then complete the activities and assignment section. So you can see here are resources. Because everything is embedded in Moodle, you're going to see lots of resources. These resources are meant to give you context, content, and background in order to be able to complete the activities at a grade level you desire. So I strongly recommend that you read and review each of these before you go in and try to complete an activity. This glossary item, I do want to point out to you, uh, it, it, you don't have to do anything with it. I just want you to read it. So when you open it, be aware of what substantive and substantial means, because those are very important when you are working in the discussion forums. And we'll talk about that in a second. As you go through, you look through all of the resources. And I give you a sample essay. This is kind of to prepare you for our first essay we're going to build. And then activities. In activities and assignments, these are the items that are graded. Nothing else within the module is graded except activities and assignments. And you can see over on the right, what are you going to have to do with this activity? You're going to have to not only view it, you're going to have to start one discussion and you're going to have to post two replies. Again, with all items in Moodle, you are going to just simply click on it. It will open and the instructions are contained within. So I tell you kind of an overview of this discussion forum. I give you what you need to do in the post. And these are the instructions of when you post. These are the instructions for when you reply. Please note there are minimums in discussion forums. There's a minimum of seven sentences when you post. That means that's the least you can do to get a C. The minimum of four sentences, again, in replies. Again, that's the minimum that is acceptable. And then I give examples for you of what they look like. So in order to post in a forum, you simply start, add discussion. And then, of course, whatever the subject is, in this case, it's probably going to be introduction. And then you're going to type whatever you want to type. There are some tools available to you, not many, but there are some tools like bold and italic, those kinds. But a word of caution, make sure you only use them as appropriate. In When you are done, you simply click on post to forum and it will then automatically post it into the discussion forum. To be able to reply to someone, you simply go down here and you will click on where it has their name and you click on their name, it will open and then you click reply. I do wanna caution you in all discussion forums this entire course, you are not allowed to reply until you have done your own original post. So you always have to post first, then complete your replies. The other thing within discussion forums is looking at your grade. This is a little different than the regular spot. You can view grades right here and it will show you the grading rubric that's going to be used in that forum. And then when it's all done and I've graded it, you click on that same tab or that same box and it will show you what I have scored out of like, for example, out of 20, it'll tell you. And then if I have any comments for you, those will be in the gray box. I do not always comment, but I do upon occasion. So make sure you are looking for scoring and comments within the discussion forums every time. Be aware that these comments will not show on your regular grade page, only the score will, will do it on the grade page. 
And let me quick show you where that is. So on our main Moodle course page at the very top, it'll have grades. And when you click on this, it will show all the grades that have been assigned so far or all the assignments that have been signed. And it will also show the grade of those that I have graded or have already been graded. So in this case, you can see there are assignments out and pending. The dash means I have not yet graded them. Chances are they're probably not due, but even after they're due, the score won't go in until I manually grade them. You can see there's some items that have been done. So for example, those two lessons I showed you earlier, they show you the point structure and then what that score comes out to be. At the bottom of the page, you can see what your grade in the course is as of that time. Remember, every time something is submitted or scored, that will affect the grading. Please note on discussion forums, as I showed you before, the discussion forums will not show feedback over here. Feedback is if I give you comments. It will show the percentage, but the comments you have to click into the forum itself in order to see my feedback. So as you can see, module one will open to you when you are done with uh, those two lessons and module one will open. Otherwise what's going to happen, um, they will automatically open to you after that. So I open one module every week. So module two will be available starting September 10, 6 a.m. That's when it will open automatically for you. You won't have to do anything. The only one that's different is that module one, you have to get those two lessons done because they're participation. Otherwise they'll open to you automatically. Everything within each module opens on a Sunday and is due the next Sunday. So you have seven days to complete those items within the modules. I think that's it. Of course, I'm going to encourage you to reach out to me. If you have any questions or concerns, I'm happy to answer them and help you in any way I can. Welcome to the course.